The grind that no person in 2K wants to do. The my career grind for the gym rat badge. I hate it here. <laughs> I hate the fact that you have to do this. Is it's one of the it's one of the most tiresome grooming thing like grueling things ever, man. So uh in order for me to get this, you have to have non-simulated games played at least 40. Now, the reason why I have 55 is because I had to go to the playoffs. And now I'm on my way to winning the championship, which you have to do to, in order to get the gym rat badge as well. And I swept all through this. All I swept I swept all through this. All all up and through all up and through here. You know what I'm saying? I lost three games due to sim, but it is what it is. My main thing is with gym rat you do have an advantage over people in like in the start of the game. So like say for instance, you just got your console and you want to have an advantage over everybody when you go to the park, right? And this is like for day one, every single year, this is what you should do. You should go into my career, grind your badges on pro, grind your rep level on Hall of Fame, but only seek out playmaking and defensive badges during your rep grind. It's the easiest way to get your rep. Everybody should know that. You know what I'm saying? If you're in the chat and you like, oh man, I, I, I want to play on Hall of Fame all the time and I want to get my shooting badges and I want to get my slashing badges. No. Get your rep on Hall of Fame and only do playmaking and, and uh, defense. If you want to get slashing and shooting badges, bump it down to pro and get your badges go for a hundred go for 200 play on five minute quarters go up by 25 and sim out as soon as the third start never play on 12 minute quarters i know that you guys think that you'll get more rep by playing on 12 minute quarters You're like oh the amount of rep i get i can hit a certain rep level in one day no this is what you need to understand if you play in, a, in all of these games, right, which you'll probably play 20 or 30 games in the first day of the game coming out. If you're somebody that doesn't go to sleep and you grind a game, you can play all of those games. The reason why is it takes approximately 10 to 12 minutes to play this game on a difficulty that is set on. Oh, why would you go all the way over there? And in order to get all of the shooting done you know what i'm saying because all you got to do is just shoot over the cpu on the difficulty that i'm playing on so one thing that i that i would recommend is definitely grind out the 40 games that means that you have to play these games they can't be like simulated in the menu you have to play up to the third quarter go up by 25 and then sim out you know what I'm saying? In the beginning of the third quarter. Now, as far as the badges this year, everybody knows what badges are cheese. All of the badges to give you more takeover for more for the actions that you complete are the cheesiest badges in the game. As well as ooh, good shot. As well as posterizer on Hall of Fame, Ankle Breaker on Hall of Fame, Special Delivery on Hall of Fame. And I would have to say if it was a, a badge that could help you on defense. That was on Hall of Fame, it'll have to be Rim Protector. Mainly because for all the builds out there that don't have interior defense, you can use Rim Protector to get you right. You know what I'm saying? And, and you can get Hall of Fame Rim Protector by putting your block all the way up. Now, I know that there's a lot of people out here that run those 6 7 builds. I'm one of them. Um, I made my 6 7 build before the 6 7 Demigod. 80 plus 90 badges, you know what I'm saying, came out. I, I ended up making my build with 68 badges, which do me well. You know what I mean? 68 badges is not bad at all. I think I get like 8, 24, uh, like 21 and like 18 or something like that. So it's, it's something it's something crazy. It's something wild that I get. You know what I'm saying? It's it's dope. It's dope to have that availability. But I can't lie. Having 
having those 80 plus badges that's that's something to see because what we found out in the last couple of weeks of the game being out you don't need to put your stamina up at all do not waste any of your attribute points on stamina if you are a player that's playing a perimeter a lot of players that play the perimeter are not putting up their interior defense at all they are not putting up their interior defense they're just letting everything fall by the wayside by upping their block so if you up your block you up your contest and you give yourself the chance to get rim protector and you give yourself a chance to get uh that ooh, intimidator you know what i'm saying so you you have a chance to get both of those by just putting your block all the way up so a lot of people just saying forget interior who needs it and the bigs out there that want to be bigs like in the wreck they're saying forget perimeter defense altogether who needs it because i don't really care for clamps because blow buys are so overpowered this year super super overpowered so it's like it's like one of those things where if you know you're making a bill for a certain type of standard you just take down what you don't want and just cut it cut it at the head right there you don't need it and a lot of builds are able to take away stamina you know what i mean take away strength and stuff like that to get more badges because they found a way to manipulate the system by not having those certain things and putting up more in other categories now don't get me wrong having a build say you have 22 slashing 21 shooting 22 playmaking and 24 defensive sounds insane and a lot of people are making builds out here that don't even have defense at all they're not even wasting defensive categories they put in all of their um offensive attributes up slashing shooting and playmaking all of them and then going out there like that because they feel like defense really don't matter this year like it's, it's so broken to the point where it doesn't even matter who needs it you know what i mean so i'm one of those people that are looking at those builds but i also have some of my friends creating those builds and i say to myself like dude you're really a liability <laughs> like people drag you into dunk animations all the time um you you do play good on ball defense but for the most part once they get past you it's kind of over you know what i mean ain't nothing you can really do about that so i'm not going to be one of those people that create one of those builds that don't have no defense at all but i know for sure that i may look into those builds where hey maybe i i take down all my stamina you know what i mean maybe i'll i'll, I'll take down my um interior defense and go crazy like that you know what i mean that's probably what i'll do Ooh. Uh, curry now with this first quarter down in the books right the warriors are playing the best game that they've ever played they are on the cusp of being eliminated so they're probably going to play like demi guys no matter what difficulty you play on and right now i'm i scored 27 points and they scored 16. so i have a, i have a whole lot more to go as far as how much uh i gotta score so then i just gotta start cheesing my way oh yeah if you didn't know <laughs> this shot creating takeover is literally the best shot create it's the best takeover in the game like making people fall is what we are here for everybody that plays nba 2k wants to see people fall they want to see people do crazy animations and i'm telling you right now <laughs> shot creating takeover is crazy you know what i'm saying you don't really got to play too great oh good board oh good board shot creating takeover for the win bro like literally for the win it's not it's nothing you can do man shot creating takeover for the win and like and just thinking about it i don't even have team takeover i just i put both of the ankle breaking takeovers as my takeover just so i could break angles the entire time it's, it's, it's freaking hilarious man come on Steph, backcourt like wind it down you gonna shoot that the board now um what else is there to talk to y'all about 
Um, yeah, so when it comes to creating the scoring machine, if you guys want to create it, I, I do have a YouTube channel, uh, a YouTube channel, a YouTube video that you guys can check out. Um, appreciate that follow, uh, Lil J. Um, I do have a YouTube video that's out for my build, but I would look into some of those 84, uh, 80 plus badge builds because those joints are, those joints are crazy. You know what I'm saying? Their stats do average out to a little bit where my stats are, but essentially you're making the same bill and badges run this game this year. If you don't have certain badges, you can't do certain things. Like the way that I'm shooting in this game. Yeah, it's on pro, blah, 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 all that. But the badges are allowing me to pull whatever I want. Like I'm literally not even focused on this game. I'm having a full conversation with y'all right now. And I'm just just playing a game. Just, just grinding it out because I can. You know what I mean? It's super, super easy. Um, also, another thing. Um, a lot of people had questions about how you should make your six seven scoring machine. Should you make them burly? Should you make them? Should you put more weight on them and stuff like that? Honestly, when it comes to like weight and all that and distribution, I'm really not opposed to what you want. But like, really, I go for what I like. You know what I'm saying? I like my bills to look a little bit more on the defined side, not slight to the point where you complete stick. But you know what I'm saying I'm more on the divine side. And I didn't go max wingspan with this build. But shooting is so easy this year that I feel like my next scoring machine, when I do create one, which it will be the 80 plus badge build and all that, that build will probably have max wingspan, mainly because it will have better benefits for defense and slashing. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna still be able to shoot. And I'm gonna get the 99 anyway, so I might as well just, you know, sacrifice a little bit of that and put my wingspan up for shooting because I'm still going to be able to shoot like this anyway, no matter what. You feel me? Um, but yeah, Jim Rat, Jim Rat is a is a very good badge for anybody that's starting out that want to have an up on people in the park, don't have to do no workouts. And if you if you get Gatorade and stuff like that, you'll have a super super duper advantage over people. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you get in Gatorade and you like to dribble and stuff like that. Hey, let's go. Another team takeover, by the way. Up 28 points. A minute and 57 before this game is over. I do this religiously. I do not play no games with the CPU. The rep grind is over. I'm a 99.9. The badge grind is over. I have all my badges. That's why I have Mamba mentality. And I'm able to change my takeovers at, at will. So this is what I do. Go up 25. And get out of there as soon as the third quarter start. Don't lollygag around with the CPU. You don't have to play real basketball with them. Look. He fell twice. He fell twice, chat. He fell off the snatch. Fell off the, the fake snatch. Oh, man. It's crazy. I can't lie. He He's far away from me. So, triggering different people in different animations is insane, man. Um... Uh, also, when it comes to when it comes to builds, um, I know that you. Ooh, he 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 killed you. He killed you because he almost killed me. Um, <laughs> but when it comes to like creating certain builds and stuff like that, and certain player builds, like that's dope and all that. Ah, that's that's dope to create builds like regular people. But I'm telling you, man. You're only going to see three builds in the guard positions and one build at the big. Well, maybe two builds. So you'll see you'll see a scoring machine. You'll see a scoring machine and a two-way scoring machine. And a what else? You will see a offensive threat. So they're all basically the same build. They're about 6-7. About 210 pounds, about a 7-1 wingspan, and they're freaking demons. And they play like demons, and it's going to be hard for you to do anything. <laughs> that's that's what happens. Um, Let me see if I can drop him. But, yeah, that's basically how it goes. Now, like I said, I'm leading the series 3-0. It's about to be over. Not really much else they can do. I'm 18 for 24 from three. And this is the way to go and hit against Jim Rat. Um, it's some people, you know, like to say this is how you get something this fast and all of that. 
it's really about the time that you put in you know what i mean if you put in in the time then you're going to uh accumulate whatever badge or whatever progress you want super duper fast you know what i'm saying me i was telling myself well i can grind a superstar of this or a superstar of that within a week or two or three or four even but when i started realizing like uh this rep not hitting even after 2k gave their rep boost the rep wasn't hitting i'm like mm, you know what i'm gonna go ahead and get gym rat the old-fashioned way you know what i mean just do it like that so um if it's if it's if it's up to you you know what i mean and you and you feel like gym rat is a badge that you will want and you will want to get and go crazy with my career is the easiest way to get it it's the fastest way to get it you don't have to try to play sweats all day you know what i'm saying at the park plays play a bunch of um wreck bums and stuff like that and trying to get your your online rep level up you can just grind it in my career play your 40 games some to the end of the season win the finals and then you get your rep you know what i'm saying oh also you get a championship in it also as well you know what i'm saying that's that's a, that's a huge plus right getting the championship and all that <laughs> But, um, is there anything else that I want to say? Whoa, bro. Put a mask on, bro. You spray yourself. You're looking like Chris Bosh out here in these streets, bro. But, uh, yeah, I'm the only one to, to bring the Sixers a chip. I'm hoping we can do that in real life, of course. Doc, I pray for you. <laughs> Why is it a My Player logo still on the court? I guess I won't know. Where is it? Okay. All right, there we go. Last workout results. Perfect uh, workout boost turbo is active. So that's that's how you know. Um, through the weekly workout, as soon as it says perfect workout boost turbo uh, joint activated, you're good to go. You know what I'm saying? And it don't have no timer. So they gave it to me, and I am happy now. So like I said, if you guys want gym rep, go for it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to. You don't have, let me. Matter of fact, let me check the city. Let me see. I didn't want to visit the city. I just want to see the city real quick. I just want to just want to check something real fast. What are they doing? Where am I going? Why am I in a loading screen? Someone help. A few moments later. This is tough. Oh, oh, that's a mayor logo. Hold on. We're gonna save that for another video. <laughs> uh there we go let's talk about this rep so where is it where is it gym rat you get gym rat at super star three you understand me super star three that's that's super tough but um i'll see you guys in the next video mayor out <laughs>